that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his word. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen claws by themselves. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. Seems like the men were cowards in the story. I mean, they weren't there at the cross. They didn't go to the tomb. But the women were there the entire time. It seems to me, it seems to me, that anyone who says that women can't preach never read the resurrection story. Because the very first Christian preachers, the very first, were the women. They were the first to go tell it that the Jesus, the Messiah, lives. Now, of course, when they go back and share it with the men, the men doubt it. And, and don't jump on, jump on them because of that. I mean, I mean, who would believe that? Somebody tells you that, yeah, oh boy, he ain't in the grave no more. I mean, that was their natural reaction. But even though I'm sure the women probably thought, okay, they're not gonna believe us, but the news was so good, so exciting, they still had to tell it. You, you, you can take it forever, however you want, but we're still going to tell it. Because when you have good news, they had something exciting, something thrilling, some, something life-changing. So they had to go tell it. Have you all, or maybe you're on a large group text, anybody on large group text? Have you been on those group texts when somebody sends out a text? And then somebody else responds, then somebody else responds, then somebody else responds, and this goes on and on and on. Because everybody wants to say their part. I mean, you bring up something, and so everybody has to share it. Well, about 5 a.m. this morning, I'm on a group text with several pastors from around the country. Unfortunately, my East Coast pastors started texting at 5 a.m. And it did not stop till 6.30 a.m. They're texting, starts at 5, and resurrection, they're giving prayers for all the pastors to preach with power, and then another one, they want to tell their prayer, and then someone else wants to tell their prayer. And I finally got up. I said, Jesus got up early, but that doesn't mean I have to. But it was good news. I mean, it's Resurrection Sunday, so why wouldn't you tell it? And that's what the women did. They just told simply some good news. And when you hear good news, think about it. You go to a good restaurant, what do you do? You go tell somebody. You watch a good movie, what do you do? You go tell somebody. You, you, you see a good TV show, you go tell somebody. When something good happens to you, what you ought to do is just go tell it. So if God has ever delivered you from something, you ought to go tell it. If God has ever healed your body, you ought to go tell it. If God has ever delivered you from anything, you ought to just go tell it. If God has blessed you in any way, just go tell it. Go tell. It doesn't matter if people want to hear it, just go tell that God has blessed me. God has lifted me up. God has been so good, you ought to just go tell it. Tell somebody. Tell somebody that he lives. He lives, and because he lives, we can face tomorrow. You ought to be like the women. Just go tell it.